Hello Booktube, I didn't want to miss out on this uh, Poetry Thursday uh, So I gotta give it from here Also it's pretty cool, I, I don't know how many videos in Booktube have been uh, recorded from a pool But I like being the first at something <laughs> um, This is still Boethius um, and I say still because I'm assuming that before the next Thursday you will have already seen some of some video of me talking about Boethius I am reading Boethius at the moment, uh, which for you, the moment, might be the past. Uh, but without further ado, this is um, The Consolation of Philosophy. This is page 110 in the Penguin edition of uh, Boethius. And this is just one of many examples of how good this book is and how beautifully written the poetic parts are in the book. One second. All right. So. If you desire to see and understand, sorry for the background noise, this is uh, as good as it's gonna get with me for a while. Um, if you see, if you see and understand in purity of mind the loss of God, your sight must on the highest point of heaven rest, where through the lawful covenants of things the wandering stars preserve their ancient peace. The sun forth driven by his um, glittering flames stays not the orbit of the yellow moon nor does the bear who in the highest pole of heaven drives her swiftly turning course which never to the western sea descends desire to follow other stars that set and merge her fire beneath the atlantic deep by equal intervals of time each day the evening star foretells the evening dusk and comes again as morning star at dawn so everlasting courses are remade by mutual love and wars disunion is vanished from the source of heaven above. This concord governs all the elements with equal measures that the power of wit of wit will yield by turn onto the hostile dry. And coal will join with amity, with hot dependent fire will surge into the air and massive weight of earth will sink below. And for these reasons, when the spring grows warm, the flower bearing deer will breathe sweet scent. I just realized this is not the best. In summer torrid days, um, but like, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you are able to hear anything, but this is the best I can do. In summer torrid days, uh, we'll dry uh, the corn Ripe autumn will return with fruit and doubt, and fail and falling rains will moisten wintry days. This mixture brings to birth and nourishes all things which breathe and bre the breath of life. All things which all, all things which breathe the breath of life on earth. This mixture sizes, hides and bears away all things submerged in death's finality. Um, meanwhile. There sits on the high the Lord of things, who rules and guides the reigns of all that's made, their king and lord, their fount and origin, their, their law and judge of what is right and due, all things that he with motion steers to go. He holds and when they wander, brings them back, unless he call them home to their true path and force them back their orbits to perfect those things which stable order now protects. Divorced from their true source would fall apart. This is the love of which all things partake. This is the love, uh, or the love, of which all things partake. Um, the end of good, their chosen goal and close. No other way can they expect to last, unless with love for love repay they turn and seek again the cause that gave them birth. Of course, suffice to say I'm not a Christian, but I think that poem is really good. I don't know if you were able to tell due to my lack of concentration since my uh, brain is fried because I've come out of the sauna and I've been reading for a while. But I think um, it's one of my favorite poems on this book, not my favorite one, but I... I, yeah, just let me know what you thought. Uh, of course, no need to be a Christian in order to read uh, something like this. It's a book of philosophy. 
and of course uh, this specific philosopher had uh, religious beliefs but I I still like the um, the theme of returning to the origin to have to repay for that which you took back you, that from that which you took and, and get to the place that gave you birth is um, it's a recurrent theme in my readings and in my writings, and I and I consider it to be correct. I I definitely think that there is a lot to take from this poem that is valid, without necessarily uh, believing in some supernatural force that lives in the sky. So let me know if you like the poem, if you were able to listen uh, at all, because I know there is a lot of background noise, and if my reading wasn't. Uh, as bad as it sounded to me as I was reading. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side.